All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? <laughs> sit, sit, sit down. Oh, sit down. All right. Sit down. So, so, you, so you met Kremlo over here? Uh, I was, I was going to ask you who these guys you were. Met, you seem, met Mr. Tong? They seem pretty, they seem pretty unsafe. Hi, hi, Mr. Mr. Kremlo and Tong. I'm, he he so, hasn't, he hasn't slept in days. Oh, okay. Cool. Just, just, uh, just cool. And don't make eye contact okay. with oh. Kremlo. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here, I'm going to slide this, uh. Gary, that's a, Gary, that's a gun. Correction. It's a loaded gun. Why would you? Oh, not Kremlo. One G- bullet. Gary, did Kremlo do you One wrong? Pole. Puff, puff, pass, motherfucker. <laughs> Who's that standing? The, the, Everybody is, is that plays the, door the game. Oh, man. Ross. Everybody plays this club, Cranium Ross. That was a, don't hurt me, okay? I'm going to pick this. Do I spin the chamber or do I trust that you've... Spin, yes. You can You can cut. Deal it, you can cut. It's not just dealer's oh, choice. Okay, all right, so... Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Pray to whatever God will have you, Ross. <laughs> <sighs> mm-hmm. Okay. Right. What, what purpose? Oh. Gary, what purpose did this serve? Okay, just pass. Okay. Oh, Kremlo, you don't you don't want to do it? You're gonna pass. Okay. That was I'll an option. Uh, you didn't ask. God damn it. It's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and give it a shot though here. Oh, Gary. No. Uh, all right. It's not worth it. You can pass. We've just established this. Hey, I don't want to bite Kremlo's steez. Okay. Right, here we go. And action. There's 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 no there's no bullet. Hold on, hold on. Click 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 click. There's no. Hold on a second. Let me Wait, open did you forget the bullet? Ah, I forgot the bullet. Gary, you entered God mode. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Here, let me uh, let me. But uh, oh no, there's a bullet in here. There's just something jammed in here as well. Oh wow. As I fold it up. It's uh, really really it's packed big. in there. Wow. Yeah, like and I think that I don't know how bullets work, but I think that this also would have shot into my head, but. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that it didn't, uh, because it is. Well, I'm, I'm, I wish that it did. I don't know. Whatever, whatever way we will, I'm going to come down on this, because uh, the piece of paper says it's platoon. But yes. Fuck. Yeah, fuck. to a level of bad that we're comfortable with yeah this, this is this is this is bad that like we can just talk about platoon for a half hour <laughs> yes we can um i am gary butterfield i'm cole ross and this is abject suffering the game where we uh where the first casualty is innocence <laughs> yeah. um and uh this week we're talking about platoon for the nes yeah we're talking about platoon and this was recommended uh by actually the the, the apple II version was recommended but they're the same game uh okay. by, by sam bear uh coming in for it's coming it's in Sam for a one-two really punch out in the afternoon one day yeah. <laughs> just really sad it's, for him. it's it's ridiculous how much he how much he uh recommends i guess suggests like yeah. he he is probably a solid 15 to 20 percent of all recommendations i'm just getting off my balls he's, he's keeping this he's keeping this train rolling gary yeah. well good yeah um and i didn't know this was the thing before i played it for the show and you know what? You would be reasonable in assuming that it wasn't a thing. Like yeah. if somebody if somebody asked you, devoid of any you know access to internet, is there a game based on Platoon? You you would say no. Yeah, I, yeah, I would say I would say that's very uh, very strange. And I've I don't I just know Platoon by reputation. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't seen Platoon. I've watched like a bunch of clips of it in preparation for the episode on YouTube. Yeah, but I just I know it by reputation. And it would be it'd be like having like a Sophie's Choice or like the other sister game, like it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> right. Well, it makes it makes a sense in that it is based on the the most you know brutal and some would say immoral war we've ever fought. Um. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the flip side, though, that could also be a reason why it makes less sense. Yes. <laughs> the, the, this is this is not the war that anyone feels good about. Right. And the movie is about that. Right. It's not like the movie is glossing over that and you're having super cool fun. <laughs> you know, killing killing enemy like, soldiers. Yeah, you know, like just it's the burning down the village mini game. Like that's not yeah. anything anybody should ever even think exists. I feel dirty for even saying it. Yeah, you do. You do a lot. You know, a lot of terrible things happen in this uh, in yeah. this movie. Uh, the you know uh, Oliver Stone made it uh, based on his real life 
experiences, I'm pretty sure. Uh-huh. And it is, uh, you know, there's a lot of crimes against humanity. Uh-huh. And luckily, they don't, like, it's this game contains no more crimes against humanity than most video games do. Right. Oh, well, there like, are landmines. There are landmines, and those are unfortunate. But you don't actually burn down any villages. And right. there are no children in the game. Yeah. It, uh, thank goodness. It just, uh, you know, I don't know why I feel bad. Uh, okay. I, I do know why. I, I about said something ridiculous. I about <laughs> said, I don't know why I feel worse killing these people than I do killing the numerous Nazis I've ever killed in a video game. Yeah. But it's because yeah, they're, they're not quite as bad. Yeah, because they're yeah. Nazis. Yeah. Because they're Nazis. Yeah. Even though, I mean, they're all just people. Right. Yeah. The, uh, you know, like it, it is it is a weird, like playing something like this really does underline like, you know, how that is the the verb of, of video games. That's kind of unfortunate that like mm-hmm. it is just murdering people. Yeah. That's what you do. And Murder it's, folks. And it's ridiculous how much this hat, like it varies right it asks you to do like different things like the first level is the uh it's side scrolling but in that particular data east kind of side scrolling where you're moving up and down yeah it's the uh, the friday the 13th problem right yeah and you press up to jump (laughs) and you also press up to walk up a trail yep which means that anytime you're in front of a trail you cannot actually jump over a bullet without switching screens right which is awful yeah. And there are some nods to, you know, what the what the movie is about uh, by the fact that there's a morale meter. But I'm not sure what the morale meter does. I I had no idea. Like that felt like still weird afterthought yep. to me. Like I didn't I watched a bunch of this game, but I didn't get out of the first level because mm-hmm. I couldn't navigate the, no. the maze because you're looking um, for explosives. Yeah, I didn't know what I was looking for. I just kind of kept going through it. But everything looks the same. And your character is monochromatic. Like, you Mm -hmm. look like an army man, like, figurine, Mm -hmm. (laughs) weirdly enough. Um, And it's just, like, it's not that hard to, like, jump and dodge bullets. But I just got bored, like, navigating this maze where everything literally looks the same. Mm -hmm. Like, it's such a bad foot for this game to start off on. (laughs) For any game, really. Yeah. Yeah, and you know we, we we talked at length in the Friday the Thirteenth episode about how hard it is to navigate, but at least that game had a map. Yeah, and that game had like a bunch of kind of cool mechanics to it. Mm-hmm. Like that game, I you know, history yeah. kind of kind of that for me. Like this, I yeah. like this timing system and stuff. There's neat things about that. And this yeah. feeling of being stalked. Um, this does not have any of that. Right. It's like is Data East and Ocean just kind of like the uh, well? It did uh, LGN did uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Do they have anything in common? These two um, games, I believe. And they play so similarly that it'd be yeah, really that, hard it almost for seems me like to, have to. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know if there was like some kind of talent share or what. Yeah, there's nothing I can see uh, on Wikipedia mm. that puts them together. But the um, yeah, they do kind of have like a similar. Even though, like in retrospect, like Friday Thirteenth, like jumped and and shot better mm-hmm. than this. Like it was a little bit more kinetic. But they do have kind of a, a similar play to them, regardless of which. Like that is a much better game. Yeah. Than this. Um, and this it weirdly turns into like first person shooting mm-hmm. sections, and there's a maze section <laughs> that comes through. Like every level is a different bad game mm-hmm. in Platoon. Yeah, it is. It, it is a different bad NES. It's a grand tour of all the things we dislike. Yeah, of of in NES games that are bad, and just so weird. Like it doesn't like the cover of this. Like I talked about in the last episode, but like the cover of it is just the cover of the DVD, mm-hmm. where it is like this kind of technicolor scene of soldiers it says the first casualty of war is innocence okay <laughs> and then willem dafoe barnes just getting gunned down by helicopters yeah, in his christ in, pose yeah, yeah. In, in glorious technicolor <laughs> on the cover of this super fun nes game like <laughs> this was this was next to you know mario and ice mm-hmm. climbers on the shelf like yeah what sense does that make and what what this leads me to believe is that it, it, this was meant to sell to dads <laughs> right yeah but yeah like, like kids like the ice climbers dads like this yeah <laughs> i mean it's it's true the world around at least for people of our age dads love platoon my dad loves platoon if, yeah if, if, you, if you strike up a conference like if you just lead a conversation with platoon what do you think of that like you, you'll, you'll get like <laughs> you get a 20 a cold dad <laughs> you'll, you'll get like a like a 25 minute conversation about how good platoon is <laughs> sounds like I, I, if anyone ever sees cold dad on the street walk up and do it yeah that's just a pro so, it's a dad, it's a dad hack if you don't have anything to talk about <laughs> no, i'm serious that, how, how much does your dad look like you <laughs> a pretty like pretty much except shorter hair yeah, I imagine yeah. so. Like for yeah. certain, like I feel like it was very hard for me to imagine your dad not looking like you. Yeah, and uh, and 
the uh, so yeah, if I ever see like a guy who kind of looks like Cole, <laughs> but just like older and shorter hair, I'm just gonna start walking around going like uh, platoon, <laughs> but, just, just with platoon like like I'm like I'm slinging rock in in the wire, <laughs> like just like kind of walking around just like nuclear war, got the atom bomb, five zero. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got, got that platoon, platoon, <laughs> platoon. Got that platoon, platoon down here, platoon. Yeah. <laughs> and then just see if he if he takes the bait. <laughs> so so yeah, I'm going I'm going to extend this beyond just my dad. Everybody listening, if you have access to your dad and you're willing to talk to them, um, you know, because you can't take that for granted, um, just approach your dad and just see if he has an opinion about platoon. I'm going to guarantee you that he does. That's probably true. Yeah. The. Uh, Hold on one second. So Sergeant Barnes, is that the guy who was okay, Barnes is the bad guy. Right. It's not Willem Dafoe. Right. Okay, because I thought I thought that Barnes was was Willem Dafoe's character. Mm-hmm. Because I'm I'm sorry to interrupt you because you're you're right about that dad chat. But I just read on Wikipedia that the end boss of this game is Sergeant Barnes. Uh-huh. And for a second I thought the end boss <laughs> is Willem Dafoe, and they just like totally flipped the message. Like it's just <laughs> like like that's how they recontextualized Platoon to make it an NES game was just like fuck those peace nick. <laughs> Human rights people. It is like the badass of the final level is so great. You're piloting this helicopter and there's just like one <laughs> yeah, stupid dude. One pixel running away from you and yeah. you just get to hammer on. <laughs> and then the final cutscene is like a Ninja Gaiden style, uh, you know, just a uh, tableau of like a fist bump. <laughs> Yeah, a fist bump, and then you coming back to the United States and getting a parade, and then like <laughs> yeah. everyone appreciating Vietnam the way that you know those soldiers thought they would. Yeah, the, the communist flag goes down and the American flag goes up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, Vietnam is now East USA. Yeah. <laughs> like all the all the signs on the on the noodle shops flip over to like French fry areas. Yeah, like, yeah, for your French fries and McDonald's and Starbucks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> The brave villages are replaced with firework shows. Yeah, like just let's let's further America wash Vietnam. Let's make a platoon NES dot com like those Bubsy three D guys did. Oh yeah, and make that game. <laughs> or get those arcane kids to do it because that's a good idea what i was picturing was like some kind of let's take the first half of um full metal jacket the good half of full metal jacket mm-hmm. and then make it into like a track and field style <laughs> just like, like, like tap butts do yeah, push-ups. Just, yeah tap butts, do push-ups with uh with like little oregon trail style like moral choices at the like in the middle where the like it's it's either keep sleeping or beat gomer pile with uh with, yeah. with soap and a sock <laughs> Yeah, you have to find this open sock and do like adventure game puzzles. Like, yep. you've had your your allotment of soap for the day. <laughs> Isn't it time for your break? Yeah. Or you know, you've had your allotment of soap for the day. I sure wish I had a cigarette. <laughs> you've had your allotment of soap for the day. I sure wish I had a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's insult sore fighting, but with Arlie <laughs> Ermy coming up with. Yeah. Coming <laughs> he'd, be, with he'd, be, he'd be an amazing on boss to like uh, insult sword fighting game. Yep. Uh, you know, I just about went into the story about how Arlie Ermy was picked for that role, but I think I've told it about 17 times, yeah, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's so good. <laughs> like, there's, a, there's a weird, there's a special episode of Check It Out Comrade where you just pop in at the end and like <laughs> tell that story. I, I can record that if you want to pop it on. Yeah, and, there, and there's there's an episode of The Pitch where like it's playing softly in the background backwards <laughs> just to get it subliminally into, the, into your mind. It's just an episode long fade. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> um, you know, the, like I said, the, the end boss of this game is Sergeant Barnes. According to the Wikipedia, you have to shoot him with five live grenades. Oh wow! Like if you hit him with five, that's how much it takes to kill Sergeant Barnes. <laughs> it's dumb. Yeah, that is that is really dumb. And so this is this is what like twenty five years before? Um, oh gosh, Spec Ops: The Line. Yeah, yeah. Which is the which is the the you know the video game version of this. Yes, yeah, but this not, is this is this is Spec Ops the video game. But but like but not even because like Platoon it's such an 80s movie in that it is very slow and it's mostly talking. Yeah. Right? Like they're like it's there there's very little there's very little actual military action that that happens to. I remember watching this when I was like in middle school, right? And just like just like okay, it's a war movie. When's this going to like I didn't appreciate it. Yeah. And so it's doubly weird that this talky movie it, it is just converted into this. Yeah, it's a it's one of the worst like adaptations mm-hmm. of a, of a game I can think of. It, like misses the spirit 
yeah. you know, and and uh, and and everything. Um, kind of kind of weirdly like well thought of. Like people kind of like this game on GameFAQs. Huh. Yeah, it's really strange. Any any highlights? Um, the uh, on the message board, the number one post, most recent post is platoons and what you need to know about them. <laughs> Um, and then the content is platoons are awesome organizational units that have many military people in them. They're <laughs> commanded by high powered military men who are wise in the ways of martial battle. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which like I can't tell if that's how serious this is, but that's a great that's a great message board post. <laughs> platoons are what you need to know about them. Platoons are awesome organizational units that have many military people in them. <laughs> commanded by high powered military men who are wise in the ways of martial battle. Martial battle as opposed to yeah, psychic like, battle. Hello. <laughs> like, <laughs> Section three story. Hmm, not too sure about this. The best I could figure is that your army platoon has been abandoned somewhere in the jungle during the Vietnam War. (laughs) There's a story, like it's a fucking movie. Yeah. (laughs) I've never seen the movie, nor have I read the instruction booklet. So there may be some clarification in there. If anyone wishes to fill me in on the story, please do so. I think that we can't trust these like game facts metrics that say how long a game is, because this one also says it's like 32 hours. Yeah. And I, I have a hard time believing that. Yeah, like, it's a bad like data set. Mo- yeah. Yeah. That, that, like, that's something that I love about How Long to Beat is that they actually tell you by the color coding how reliable yeah. that is. Like, they, yeah. they, they run some kind of analysis on the standard deviation between all of the stuff that comes in uh, that tells you, like, okay, there's a consensus. This is accurate. Uh, cool. Yes. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. I, I keep finding things on the internet that make me want to interrupt like points that you're saying that I agree with. <laughs> yeah. So this review of Platoon by JJN <clears throat> entitled Do It Like in the Vietnam War. Oh, no. Introduction. Ah, the Vietnam War. It isn't wrong to say this war is a failure or something. I don't know. Who cares about the political spectrum of the Vietnam War? <laughs> Even ought this game is directly related to the Vietnam War because you're a soldier fighting against that communist country. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps the game developers who engendered this game engendered? wants the average game to appreciate the horrible and challenge the vietnam veterans went rag out when they're battling in the deep jungle with the vietnamese kong <laughs> well they the game developers didn't emulate some bit of the action during the real experience and packed it into the game because you can see the trees, the mine that are on the ground, and other hazards eye the floor that might kill you any seconds, and it important for you to watch for them. For respect all these Vietnam veterans and see the horror and Adeline they faced in the war experience by playing this game, okay? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, I'll, dude? <laughs> all right. So let's play ESL 12-year-old yeah, yeah. or illiterate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yes, that, simulator. Yeah, that's that's some fucking Charlie Kelly shit. Yeah, it's <laughs> like this is if, not. If you threw a so do in there, I would say, did do, like, did you get like so like a spec script or something? <laughs> uh, he, this guy is a very prolific game facts reviewer around the 2005 corridor. <laughs> he had his he had his moment. He burned out. Yeah, he he just he did a lot of work. Candle at both ends, you know. Yeah, yeah. This is like I, like. This getting political in this review. Yeah. See, this is very special to me. I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> like, I don't I don't care about the politics of this conflict. But hey, we're killing communists in the forest, so hoorah. Yeah, I can't I can't tell where he comes down on any of this stuff. Like, I don't care about the the political spectrum of the Vietnam War. Even ought this game is directly related to the Vietnam War because you're a soldier <laughs> fighting in that communist country. Dot dot dot. Ah, the Vietnam War. <laughs> Also, uh, the Vietnamese Kong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, 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 of um, the, one of the lesser known members of the Donkey Kong family. Yes. Yeah, the Vietnamese Kong? <laughs> yeah. The Vietnamese <laughs> Kong. <laughs> uh, uh, Gary, can I read you the credits from uh, this? Real, real quick. Sorry. Okay. Let me give you this guy's outro. Okay. I don't know. But after we play, tend to arrive to our conclusion this game is nothing more than a remake of the war. <laughs> it's very boring. How could anyone possibly possibility play this game? This game is nothing but a remake of the Vietnam War. It's getting some angry video game nerd shit. It's a remake. I thought Iraq was a remake of the Vietnam yeah. War. And they've already remade it over and over again. 
<laughs> the kind of hard hitting political commentary you come to <laughs> have <except> for. <laughs> yep. uh, okay, I'm going to read you the credits right. off of this uh, off of this fact. Okay, hook me up. First off, leading up, God. Parentheses. Do I have to give a reason? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> my parents they raised me for christ or sorry for charlie's sake i, oh, about, you, you I, about sake, I was gonna yeah yeah i was gonna really like <laughs> like really like gamergate catch him up in a little fallacy like <laughs> well no 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 i'm sorry i don't understand gamergate fallacies that are not ms paint with red arrows yeah somebody needs to take that book of baby's first logical fallacies away from those guys <laughs> yeah all right oh uh, the, 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 there's also the fallacy fallacy um yes Yes. Continue um, through these credits. Yeah, so, so, so okay. So so there's a there, there there's a little bit more that's boring. He thinks Pink Floyd. Um, <laughs> sure. But I, I, I've often commented that the Wall is the greatest album of all time. I still stand by that. You, you're wrong. Um, Ooh boy. <laughs> uh, he he thinks Castmaster. Uh, Who taught him how to use WinZip? Yep. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you just, just double click. <laughs> uh, this may have been done in the days where WinZip was a thing you oh. had to download. Like. Well, I mean, you have to download home. it, but you still just like it. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, he obviously he, he he pulls a rare thinking gamefacts.com instead of CJC, right? Yeah, that does. And he thinks the whole team. Yeah. And this is he, where it goes off the rails. He also thinks uh, Joe Smoke, who is his username, uh-huh. and then also I me. Oh, is that another? That's another. Uh, it, it, it's it's somebody. It's he did the ASCII art. Okay, I thought he was just saying like I'm also thinking myself because I did this yeah, cool thing. Right, he thinks he himself twice. twice. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, uh, just allow me to do the where this goes, like where it gets off the rails though. He thinks Malcolm Young. Hmm. Is uh, didn't he get like caught on murder recently or something? I, I think he did. <laughs> caught on murder. I know he got caught on a murder. Yeah. Um. I, so, don't, so, I don't know if he got caught on a murder. Yeah. Somebody from ACDC got popped on something bad here recently. But no, he says he's the rhythm guitarist for ACDC. I always felt bad for him because his brother Angus, lead guitar, always get all the attention. So here's to you, <laughs> Malcolm. What man? That's the thing about these game facts thing is like inappropriate venue. Oh yeah. Like it is. It is like. Can you like? This is very hard. Like that thing with the guy with talking about his aunt dying. Mm-hmm. Like this is almost more of an inappropriate place to thank yeah. the rhythm guitarist for ACDC. The the aunt thing was very personal, right? Yeah, like, like misguided, but also mm-hmm. like kind of sympathetic because maybe that's literally the only way this guy can communicate. Yeah, this is like this should be on an ACDC message board or like in an yeah. email or regular mail, or maybe just maybe like on his MySpace. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it's like, what a weird, like there's, I can't think of another place where Malcolm Young is less likely to go <laughs> and see this. Like, is this, is this like the, the least Malcolm Young friendly page on the internet? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's fact for Platoon. Well, maybe he's shy. Maybe, maybe he wants to thank Malcolm Young, but on his own terms, right? Or he's created the game-esque like series of clues to lead him here. <laughs> <laughs> to get a secret message. Malcolm Young wakes up like chained to a pipe in a dirty bathroom. <laughs> yeah, with, with just a laptop and a copy of Platoon. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> just like eventually he'll end up. Yes, yes, playing. all is working to plan. Yeah, he thinks a lot of band people. Also, John Paul Jones, the most underappreciated member of Led Zeppelin. I agree. John Paul Jones is great. Um, no, sure. Like, I mean, it's it's not necessarily. I don't even think Malcolm wrong. Young's necessarily yeah. terrible. I just uh, n- now, now I feel bad, Malcolm. So there are two there are two members of ACDC who are in trouble right now. One of them uh, is on crime. The other one uh, has terrible dementia. And Malcolm Young is the one who has terrible dementia oh, right okay. now. He had to leave the band because of that. Which you know, I, 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 dementia is the scariest thing in the world. So bad on us for laughing. The uh, this guy describes all the enemies in this game as just various adjective Charlies in this yeah. pack. Level three, dark Charlie, dark blobs that shoot at you. Oh, that is. That, I, yeah, I don't like that. No, not one bit. Yeah, this is this guy lost. Any, I didn't have any sympathy for him in the first place. I shouldn't you know, <laughs> try to pretend like I did. But like, boy, did he lose any I had by having this like really annoying racist actual fact. Mm-hmm. Um, <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, it also has not read the instruction booklet. No. Oh. The, the, the other if somebody one is that... has read the instruction booklet, reach out to me, he says. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, there are resources for that. Like, you can do, be... do your fucking journalistic integrity here, yeah, I know, Smoke I know. Joe. Well, it's just, it's bizarre to me that he would take the effort to, they would, he, he would, he would extend the effort to make this fact without actually looking at the primary, any of the primary text. Yeah. Like, I don't know, maybe my priorities are weird. 
Guess uh, how many uh, things do you think this guy has contributed to Game Facts? Uh, Fifteen. One. And it's this. <laughs> <laughs> like, God. This is like he was active for one day on Game Facts doing this. <laughs> so a, it's not like he had to talk to like, like, the, like he, he had one shot and he concluded that ACDC thing. Mm-hmm. It just in a, in a in a in a flurry of activity, yeah, on like a, a one day coke binge, <laughs> like. <laughs> just, do you think he did it on a dare? Uh, maybe, maybe he was answering a, a bounty. Hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> this uh, is this is crazy. Yeah, this is this is this is yeah, and it's a it's a really bad game. We ain't talking about the game that much. It's really bad. Don't yeah. play it. Yeah, it's terrible. Who uh, who suggested this? Uh. This oh, is Sam what, again? Yeah, Sam again. Okay. Hey, Sam. Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey, Sam. Uh, okay. Um, I'm done talking about Platoon. Yeah, I'm done talking um, about Platoon as well. <laughs> what are we doing next time? Next time, we are doing Skate or Die 2. Yeah, man. I'm excited about this one. Yeah. I have some controversial opinions about Skate or Die 2. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, the ratings and reviews are a mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, and if um, you want to suggest games, you go to uh, duckfeed.tv forward slash subject suffering. Mm-hmm. There's a little widget there. You can uh, suggest games whether you are Sam Bear or whether you're not Sam Bear. <laughs> Both cases apply. I wonder if this is like a William Shakespeare thing where there's a cabal of people who are all su- <laughs> su- submitting things under Sam Bear's name. What was that the, that movie that came out that that was like the point of it was that Shakespeare was a fraud? Um, I don't know. There's like it was like there was a, a movie called like in, in like jealous or like imposter or something like that, <laughs> and, and it was like a real like flash in the pan like got critically you know shot on and stuff and there were posters around campus for it for like six months after it came <laughs> out for some reason, so you'd be walking around campus or all these posters that were like did Shakespeare actually write his plays and then it had like you know yeah. some actor with an evil goatee yeah. staring I, at the camera. I thought that was just like something insufferable people said in like English one o two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's both. And then some of those people go on to be film majors. Yeah, and uh, they make movies. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know what that movie is. I believe you that it exists. It exists. There is a movie that's like the whole. It's a conspiracy movie or theory about uh, Shakespeare not writing all his plays. Um, but it's like a, a dramatized version of it. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Anywho. Yep. Yeah, but pro tip for uh, for submitting stuff: if you are going to do that, if you want to do multiple games, you need to reload the page. But you, yeah, you don't have to redo everything. So just reload the page over and over. Yep, that'll be quick. Um, yeah. Until uh, until next time, uh, what do they do? And just uh, pick, consider pick, war. Yeah, pick your shots. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, and that goes for for Ocean, Sunsoft, and uh, and Every, everybody uh, involved. Barnes. Barnes.